Hey there Shining fans, welcome back to the Nihil channel. So this was a special Nintendo Direct for me, because it's the first Nintendo Direct ever that I was thinking we could see a Shining Force title in the lineup. With the new mobile game announced, anything feels possible. And we did, technically, see Shining Force in the Direct. Nintendo is upgrading their online service to add N64 and Sega Genesis games, which is pretty cool. They've got a lot of good titles in the mix, and Shining Force happens to be one of them. It's great to me that Sega's working this closely with Nintendo on this, and I appreciate that a bunch of new people will have access to the game this way. It'll cost more than the normal online plan, and we don't know by how much yet, but hopefully there's a sizable amount of people that buy in for the N64 games and decide to give Shining Force a try as a result. Sega also has a new way for you to play the game, or a new old way, since they're making Genesis controllers for the Switch to go with this new collection. You have to have a subscription to Nintendo Online to even have the option to purchase it, but it'll be 50 US dollars after that. It's not super necessary to me, but I do appreciate that Sega is giving us a way to play these games with their original controller in the modern day. I think that's pretty cool. It can be really hard to go back and find some of that old hardware these days. Uh, I'm curious as well if the controller will work with titles like Sega Genesis Classics for the Switch. That collection contains Shining Force 1, 2, and Shining in the Darkness, so that could be a pretty good way to play these games these days. That about does it for today, though. I was hoping for a little more from this Direct, but I'll take what I can get where Shining Force stuff is concerned. Are you interested in the controller or any of the other old games on offer? Let me know in the comments below. Break the chain, break the chain, break the chain.